Hi, welcome back to Show and Sell. My name is Scott. Since the last estate box unboxing was so disappointing, um, those creepy uh, old dolls, um, they were from the Golden Veil vale collect, uh, collection. Um, they're out of China. I looked them up online. Uh, they're porcelain, they're mass produced. Absolutely not worth my time. Um, they're gonna go into a yard sale when we, uh, when we have one. And um, more than likely, um, they will end up going to Salvation Army or Goodwill after that because uh, I read in multiple places online, they're just not worth bothering. Um, there's so little demand for them. They were so overproduced. So we're gonna push past that and do another unboxing today. And, uh, I have another box, I'm gonna open it up on camera. Uh, you'll find out what it is, same time I will. Let's take a look. You'll have to pardon the shaky camera work. Um, you can read as well as I can. Uh, uh, desk, glass case, and ball, military hats. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but we'll see. Somebody has cut into it previously. Well, I do see some military hats. All right. some of the uh, paper out. I can, I guess I can try and look up some of the players by the numbers because as you can see, you can't read most of the signatures. And going by the rest of the state, I don't expect there to be any, uh, uh, well, there's not gonna be a clear letter or anything identifying uh, um, where where it's from or who obtained the signatures or what have you. The 
feels like the last two are just a couple of cars. Um, I'm gonna need both hands to pull the, uh, pull the football out. Do me a favor. If you have watched this far into the video, hit like. Even more important, uh, I believe it's mandatory. It's in the official rules. If you didn't like this video, also hit like, and then go down to the comments and tell me why. It's the only way I'm gonna learn. Uh, in the box, I didn't show you when I was going through it. I could see what they were, but I uh, need two hands to unwrap things. We had a, a 1957 uh, Coca-Cola Ford Courier. Uh, it's in good shape, no major scratches. Hey, it's got all four wheels. And if you've watched enough storage videos, um, you know that that is, a, uh, that is a rarity, it seems like, the number of storage units, yard sales, and things where there will be some major flaw um, you know, there'll be a nice truck and it's missing the side view. But in this case, has the doors and has all four wheels. Gotta love that. Um, there was a manila envelope that I pulled out of the box and I was right, there was an address. Um, that's why I didn't show it, um, didn't open it on camera. But there is a signed photograph from Representative Stephen Palazzo. Uh, he represented uh, the state of Mississippi uh, for 10 years in the House of Representatives. Uh, lost his seat, I think, two years ago. Um, there were, uh, there was a stack of car magazines, uh, Motor Trend and Motor Life. Motor Trend appears to be uh, all, if I, if I read it correctly, Motor Trend is, oh yeah, Motor Trend is um, 57, couple 58s and 159, and Motor Life are all from the uh, 1958. And depending on how they're, uh, what the uh, comps are on eBay, I'll probably, uh, I might just put them in two lots, um, one of each title. Um, we had the Military Hats, I have found from my experience, uh, one of these states had a ton of military uh, uh, memorabilia, hats, uniforms, ribbons, medals, challenge coins. It is all very collectible. Um, the collectors I have found for military memorabilia tend to be very um, less challenging to work with than some other types of collectors. Um, I'm just speaking from my brief experience with them uh, over the last uh, few months. Um, they all seem to know what they want. And as long as your listing is fairly straightforward, um, even as far as flaws, I have sold a number of military uniforms, uh, jackets, shirts, pants that were moth eaten and um, take pictures, list it. Um, as long as you uh, uh, document everything, um, they seem to... You know, as long as they know what they're getting, they seem to be very uh, easy to work with. It's been my experience so far. The hats appear to be in good condition. I don't think they'll be difficult to, to either list, photograph, or sell. Um, uh, we had the, the autograph. And the last three things that we had were all the mini helmets. The mini helmets are from a couple of companies. One of the mini helmets has a... a um, uh, and it's the, the New Orleans Saints helmet. It does have a certificate of authenticity that you can just see on the inside. It is from uh, Gulf Coast Cards. I don't know that company. And if I am if I can read it correctly, it's from Wide Receiver. One of the signatures is from Wide Receiver Marcus Colston. And I'm going to guess he's number 12 here. And number 23, I don't see uh, any identifications on it. But having the dates, having the years, knowing the team, it's fairly easy to uh, Google that information. And I do recognize this signature, Brett Favre, number four. Sadly, this is the helmet that the stickers are peeling a little um, I don't see a certificate of authenticity here. Um, this particular collector wasn't good about keeping those types of things, the paperwork, the, the documents with the item. So I may have it. Um, 
it's not necessary. It still have to get graded. Um, uh, most likely it would have to be graded to uh, have PSA or SGC or Beckett's or someone um, sign off on it to make it easier to sell and uh, to get more money. Um, the last one was uh, Southern Miss. There is another card on this one. I can't read it. I don't want to take the lid off and damage it. Authenticated services, AASVCS.com. Um, still don't know the signature, but it says 96. It should be easy to, to look up. This box was a lot better than the last box. Um, uh, those creepy dolls, man. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit subscribe, uh, even better, hit that notification bell and YouTube will alert you when future videos drop. Um, I do you know, these videos fairly often. Um, they're always fun for me. I hope they're fun for you. We'll see you next time. My name is Scott.